cool. Okay, guys, so um, I'm just uh, I'm just here with Mr. Stewart, and uh, this here is the MST Lamborghini painted black with the Tamiya stickers. Uh, but this kit is the actual uh, MST RMX 2.0 kit he built. And he did it exactly like his, uh, coll this is like a collector's car here, right? It is, yeah. Yeah, so this is the Tamiya. Um, this is the two, Tamiya TT-01, right? No, TA-05. Oh, okay, I'm so sorry. TA-05. Uh, he has the Tamiya interior with the custom painted, um, uh, custom painted interior with the race, uh, right-hand side racing dude. That's made by Tamiya as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I noticed that uh, you also have the uh, original Tamiya lights on this as well. That's true. So the only aftermarket part, like we were mentioning before, is the wheels, MST, uh, and the tires, and then the rotors that you added as well. Yeah. All right. Really nice. Um, what do you have here? So if you had to choose one, which one is your favorite? I would have to still have to say the Tamiya. Yeah? Because yeah. it's a collector's, exactly. that's why. Yeah. yeah. So these guys, these both of these cars look amazing. We have this car in our showroom here, and he is actually willing to part ways with it. So if you'd like to purchase this vehicle ready to run, this is a collector's Tamiya edition with everything original Tamiya. Um, I don't want to open it and show you, but everything is clean. I've seen it already. It's it's very, very nice. So you guys can contact Stuart if you want this vehicle. I have his phone number here at the store, so you can ask me for it, and I'll, uh, and I'll give you the secret codes. All right, guys, thank you so much, Stuart, for bringing it in. Oh, and another thing, stay tuned for the 45-year uh, anniversary edition from Tamiya. Uh, I forget what it's called, but it's a Porsche, right? Porsche 934 RSR. RSR, yes. So um, I, I'm supposed to get one. I'm supposed to get one. So stay tuned for that one, y'all. All right, so here's the process of the painting. We're painting the doors for the trailer. Yep. We started painting uh, the whole trailer assembly. We had to take off all of the doors, get everything out. And now we're um, gonna work on the doors. Anastasio is gonna be painting them. What What are your thoughts, Anastasio? It's gonna uh, come out perfect, right? Yes, I really think it's a really nice, it's 3D printed. Um, I think it's gonna come out really nice. We're using a TS-72 paint, I think. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we just stuck them on a cardboard and we're gonna get ready to do um, the process of some coats here. That's right. Okay guys, stay tuned. Hey guys, so we're outside now. We got everything taped onto our cardboard and we're actually gonna start painting. We're gonna start with our first coat. Sweet. Good coat. So the first coat is always going to be really light, you guys. Yeah. You're just sprinkling a little bit of paint on there, and once that dries up, we'll go a little heavier with our second yeah. coat. It's not going to really look the best, um, but for your base coat, it's your first coat, so it's not going to fill up your space, right, guys? Yeah. Second coat done? Yep. So uh, we can go for another pass because we're not too, going too heavy. It's cold out today, huh? Oh yeah. We're just bringing it in now so uh, it can dry and nothing falls on it. Uh, yeah, so we did a total of three coats right now. It's looking pretty good. Uh, and uh, we'll get back to you when it dries. All right. So guys, after our fourth coat, it actually starts resembling, uh, you know, the black color. And you can actually really see the nice sparkle in the paint. Uh, it's coming along really well, actually. Um, so I, I really recommend this color if you guys are painting any um, TS body. Uh, it's a very nice... Um, uh, color and this is actually the um, paint color if you guys ever need it Cool, how many coats did you do so far? Uh, these are four coats on each panel. All right, great. Uh, do you think we should do another coat? Um, yeah, we probably yep. another coat will do. Yeah um, Obviously I to just finish it off seal the deal here. I love that it looks like you know um, It matches exactly the trailer, yeah. but it doesn't look just you know, like it's too dark, you know, it's got a deep actual uh, yeah. color to it, it's you not know? pure black, right? It's exactly. Not, 
It's got that lift of a little bit of a bright color in there, right? Yeah. Oh, a dark Mika blue. It's yes. a beautiful color. I love this color. You can even see the blue in it. Yeah. yeah. This actually belonged to our friend, uh, Ian. Ian Kelly, uh, this belongs to. And um, we painted his tractor uh, already. We uh, He put it together. We, uh, we painted it for him. And we also just finishing up his trailer. And then these are the doors. So it's coming along really nicely. If you're watching, Ian, this is an amazing, amazing build that you have. Yes. Hey guys, so we actually finished all the coats on the doors and um, all the doors are back on the uh, trailer and we're about to um, install all the lights. We got the, um, at the dual axles on the back. Just looks so nice with the black and all the rims and the hubcaps. They're just all coming together. Um, we're gonna start with some lights all over the trailer and um, we'll show you now. Um, so here are all the lights actually. We got some red, they're all five millimeter to three millimeter. Sweet. So Anastasia, you're going to be putting all the lights on. So all these little holes here, they're all for the lights that we're yeah. going to actually put in. So this is going to be all lit up and then we're going to solder all the lighting wiring together and we're going to power it and uh, yeah, it's coming together. Yeah, it's going to look awesome, guys. Sweet. Stay tuned.